Thank you for invitation. I want to talk about an example of analytical solution of turbulence problem. It is possible to do on the base of an explicit analytical solution to the compressible vortex hydrodynamics equation in an unbounded space. By using space averaging, the close description, the close description uh, for any one point and multipoint moments are obtained in correspondence with observational data. The Anzager dissipative anomaly problem is resolved for unsteady descent turbulence in the limit of high but finite remote slumber. Our five, our five recent publications in the last five years, based on the on my on my work, published 32 years ago in 1992, 1991, where the exact solution for close description of turbulence was obtained on the base on the three-dimensional uh, Helm-Gorel's vortex equation solution. In our paper, we develop the ideas of Evgeny Novikov, who, who is for, for, for us here. You see my mouse arrow uh, is a... It, yeah. We see the cursor, yeah. Yes, you see. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This is publication of Professor John Shi in in recent publication in Physics Fluids, and at, at the end of seventeenth. Uh, I was a postgraduate PhD student in, of Evgeny Novikov in the Institute of Atmospheric Physics when the director was academic Alexander Obuchov and the head of my atmospheric turbulence department was Akiva Iglom. According to Morning and Iglom determination of the main turbulence problem, the consider the solution of hydrodynamic equation and use the method of randomization of exact solution provided by Evgeny Novikov. But the problem of obtaining of an unsteady solution of three-dimensional Helmholtz equation is not understand of that type, but Time, but Novikov uh, point my attention to the fact that uh, the solution of Riemann-Hopf equation and multidimensional Riemann-Hopf equation give also the solution for three-dimensional com uh, com compressible three-dimensional Helmholtz vortex equation. The implicit solution for multidimensional Riemann Hopf equation is well known, and in one dimensional case, it was known to Poisson, Stokes, and, and Riemann. But at, the, at that time, we know only stationary solution, and on the base of stationary solution, we obtained the Example of exact Hopf's functional solution for the characteristic functional that correspond to exact solution, the periodic solution, two dimensional periodic solution in compressible flow. But for unsteady solution, it is need to, to obtain the solution of unsteady three dimensional. Helmholtz equation. The correspondence between three-dimensional Euler equation and three-dimensional 
Kopf equation may be obtained in, in the limit of large Mach numbers. This is a way how to obtain explicit analytical solution for multidimensional Kopf equation. This is implicit form. If you make Fourier transformation, you and then introduce new variables, then we obtain explicit representation for Fourier transformation on multidimensional and dimensional Kopf solution. And then if we take into account the properties of Dirac delta function, we obtain the explicit form of multidimensional Hopf equation. In one dimensional case, in one dimensional case, the solution was known by and obtained by Kuznetsov, Rudin, Kapilinovsky, but in multidimensional case, uh, this solution was obtained in my paper, 1991. It is important to take into account the following relation for delta function because it, it must be used to derive the representation of solution for density, for density and for three-dimensional vorticity. This is exact solution of three-dimensional Hopf equation corresponding to inertial motion of, of particles, fluid particles, describing by multidimensional Hopf equation. This solution is uh, has, uh, conserved their sm smoothness only on finite time interval, which determined by relation, by, by, by this relation. For one-dimensional, two-dimensional, and three-dimensional cases, it is it gives possible to obtain the minimal time of of of, of call of solution. The, there is example for one-dimensional case, for two-dimensional case. If we take into account effective viscosity, which we model, modeling by stochastic Gaussian stochastic delta correlated in in time velocity, it is possible to obtain regular solution for any for any time. This solution is presented here. Cannot find it in English. Formula twenty three. Also, it is possible to make regularization by taking into account homogeneous friction, and the solution is represented by formula 2024. It is important that only for super threshold homogeneous friction, it is possible to, to obtain re regularization while when we take into account uh, effective viscosity, uh, the regularization uh, takes place for any small viscosity, small but not zero. For predictability problem, it is also important to take into account this relation shown in Formula 25, because in any numerical simulation, this Navier-Stokes equations, some truncation procedure is need, and the minimal mesh size is determined. And up to now, it's determined not in uh, when when it is not taken into account initial condition represented by the time of collapse in the in in this formula twenty five. I want to talk about applicability of that exact solution. First of all, uh, in earlier paper, consider the hydrostatic uh, solution when 
all fluid particles move with constant velocity, with the same constant velocity. When the balance of force, of pressure forms force and external or internal force is take place. The generalization is in that aspect that we co consider also the constant fluid of fluid particles, but for different fluid particles, the, this constant value is different. And this equation of Hope, Hope multidimensional Hope equation, we must consider. The balance of force may be in the astrophic balance in the, for inertial motion of fluid particles with zero velocity. Also, I speak, I, I tell about the possibility for the case of large Mach number. And in this example, we may obtain an exact solution to three-dimensional Navier-Stokes equation when for non-equilibrium case, we, we must we, we take into account the in, instead of equation of state, state, the relation between pressure and divergence of velocity. This relation was also considered in landau lifshitz and um, zildovich Reiser book in the case of uh, extremely small shear viscosity and uh, finite vol volume viscosity, which may be re realized in non-equilibrium uh, relaxation system. Also, our exact solution may be applied to obtain explicit form for dispersion of less Kadam-Petvashvili equation, which described uh, nonlinear waves in uh, acoustics, plasma physics, hydrodynamics. Up to now is known Monakov solution, exact solution, but implicit solution. Monakov obtained explicit solution, but uh, only in the limit of small amplitudes of amplitude, of wave amplitude. And his sound result was that for dimensionals, for dimensionals larger than three, the, the breaking of waves is absent. Our generalization of his solution on the base of our solution for Hopf equation gives the generalization form for, for, for his uh, result when the finite time of pull-offs is taken into account and this relation is analogous as the uh, super the short uh, condition for homogeneous friction when also regularization is, is take is takes place. Our con our our solution may apply not only to vertic vertical flows but also to potential flows and may be applied to Sivashinsky multidimensional equation to Kadar Parasit's sound equation in the case of stochastic term is absent because all other terms we may model. And also to the n-dimensional Louisville equation, we obtained exact solution. We may obtain exact solution on the base of our exact solution of n-dimensional Hopf equation and uh, to the uh, continuity equation. On the base of exact solution, we may obtain the representation of entropy and its generalization in dependence of Reynolds number. Thus, we can see that only in the case of n-dimensional turbulence, the exact absent of dependence of energy dissipation flux, and the dissipation on Reynolds number is absent. Only for a six-dimensional case. For three-dimensional case, this dependence 
is slow, but it exists and it have this correspondence on this sum to turbulence grid experiments. Also, the estimation of the dependence of entropy and H it generalization give possibility to obtain the micro scales of turbulence and to estimation of dependence of flatness, which describes the inter turbulence intermittency. And our result, analytical result, represented here by red line, gives good correspondence with direct numerical simulation and observational and observation data for higher Reynolds numbers. The structure function for, function for velocity gradient is also obtained explicitly and exact solution that value is important in many physical problems. And the representation of this dependence for different orders of, of structure function represent here. Here is the degenerate hypergeometrical function. And so we obtain that no single power law exponent is take place in this in the case of unsteady turbulence. Indeed, for unsteady descent turbulence, exper experiment gives the same result that we obtained by an, our analytical formulas. And then in the end of my presentation, I want to present the explicit form of well-known Riemann implicit solution for one-dimensional Euler equation, equations, equations when pressure is taken in, into account explicitly. Indeed, we obtain the time of collapse of solution, which de depends on the polytropic exponent and pressure do not uh, give the possibility to avoid collapse. Then we consider the energy dissipation in compressible case because we have re representation not only for velocity, for pressure and for the velocity of, of sound. And the local energy dissipation rate is has this representation, and we may use the structural function for for this value of dissipation rate and obtained the, the next spectrum, which in initial interval is has this representation in good correspondence with observational data of Halmiansky and boundary flow of atmosphere. I point your attention to uh, the Novikov Stever uh, intermittency model, where one fitting parameter is introduced, and for this fitting parameter, we obtain exact solution which is near, near the same with which obtained in from experiment which reproduced in, in this figure. Also we obtained the universal turbulence spectrum in the initial interval, which also observed 
in different physical systems. Here, the electrical field pulsation spectrum of our, our electric structures with, with, which uh, guide with logical structures for magnetic field turbulence in solar wheel turbulence and magnetic shear, shear turbulence. Also, we see that realized the power law which we obtain as an exact solution of air one-dimensional equation. Also, this spectrum law realized in turbulence kinetic energy spectra in the stagnation stage of partial implosion and for cosmic ray physics. Thus, the Anzager dissipation for anomaly is resolved in explicit exact form for an arbitrary dimensions. They have stated that no single power law exponent is useful in the case of unsteady turbulence, as for velocity gradient structures and as for the velocity structure function. We obtained good correspondence of our exact solution for spectrum of fluctuation in the rate of energy dissipation and for universal turbulence spectrum for corresponding to the turbulence spectra, spectra observed in the Earth and Saturn magnetic shares as well as in solar winds, cosmic wave and partial implosion. The singularity of solution in the case of Mondrian wave forms may be eliminated by taking into account of an arbitrary small but non-zero viscosity or by super threshold homogeneous friction. The effect of additional dimensionality transferred to the direction of propagation of nonlinear wave is similar to the threshold effect of homogeneous friction. The non-zero viscosity regularization of unsteady solution of the three-dimensional vortex equation for unlimited time give unexpected positive solution for generalization of clay problem to the three-dimensional fluid dynamics in compressible case. Thank you for attention. Uh, we have time for just one very quick question. Yes. Most of the cases uh, you described involved uh, deterministic PDEs with high sensitivity to initial conditions, but you also showed that um, you could do the K, uh, solve this KPZ equation, which is a stochastically forced uh, PDE. Can you explain how the um, formula that can treat both uh, excuse, me. excuse me, I, I don't understand your question. Repeat, please, slowly. Oh, okay. So you were you've been you were talking about deterministic PDEs with a high sensitivity to initial conditions, the uh, uh, the so basically chaotic dynamical systems. But you also said that your method applies to KPZ, which has a stochastic forcing. It's not clear to me how one method can deal with both categories. Uh, yes, uh, if I uh, understand your question, you asked me about the possibility of generalization of our solution in the case of introduction of forcing. If yeah, it's so, stochastic forcing, yeah. What? Yes, the stochastic forcing. Well, yes, but uh, we, at this time, we cannot generalize our theory on, 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 the, on this case. We may consider the uh, situation when we may introduce the stochastic uh, force, which uh, we 
by which we are modeling the effect of viscosity, but uh, the forcing additional term uh, makes the unhomogeneous our equation, and in that case, the exact solution uh, now we can obtain. Uh, thanks a lot, Professor Shefrano. With that, uh, let's give our speaker another round of applause and thank all the speakers in the session. This is um, the end of the session now, and we'll be heading towards our morning break. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you. Okay.